A wise person learns from other people's mistakes, and the great example of this is Samson. If you can go and read the book of Judges, you find out that Samson never had a prayer life. There's no place where you find him praising God. There's no place where you find him worshiping God. The only place you find him calling on the name of God is when he was in trouble. So as followers of Christ, our relationship with Christ should be the most priority of our lives. In this episode, I'll be reacting to the life and death of a hippie pastor, Lonnie Frisbee. Smith put Frisbee in charge of one of Calvary's chapel's ministry, the House of Miracles, which he ministered to hippies, addicts, and street people. Now, this is someone who had issues with himself, meaning he was not okay, but God still used him in a very unique way. All these mega Calvary chapels you hear today, he started the movement. But sadly, the ending was disturbing. You say, oh, how's that? Well, glad you asked. We'll get back to that. Frisbee resisted transparency and accountability in their personal and public lives. We we'll do well if we learn from all these mistakes. If we want to live a godly life, a life that makes a difference in other people's lives, a life that leaves an impact for the glory of God, we must be willing to learn from these mistakes. Listen carefully. everybody's mind <laughs> because he's saving he's saving the the hippies and nobody thought a hippie could be saved <laughs> god if you're really real reveal yourself to me he just changed my life i entered into something that the bible calls the born again experience so he came to church that sunday night and the church is real small at that time on sunday evening there might be 30 people 40 people on a good night and Lonnie made a hit. I mean, my parents begged him to come back. The blazing sun, the morning star, the spirit to lead the way. All made together to be the gentle thing. I fear my souls in darkness, so I come here to pray to you, my beloved Jesus. This woman uh, leads, she starts leading this man in, and she said, we were over at Calvary Chapel and they told us to come over here that somebody would pray for my husband, he's blind. He looks at the guy and he goes, in the name of Jesus Christ, you can see. And the man got his sight back. Everywhere Lonnie would be, God was doing things. Lonnie was not wise enough to understand that people constantly wanted to use him for his anointing and throw him away as a human being. Lonnie and Tira said, Daryl, nobody wants me in their church. He says, they like the goodies, Daryl, but they don't, but they hate me. You know, when people are willing to rip pages out of a history book? You know, I think that both my dad and, and John were like father figures to him, but fathers who rejected him. It was a hard thing for me to understand how he could party on Saturday night and preach on Sunday morning, and the Spirit of God moved. I come on behalf Now, this is someone who struggled with flesh desires, but yet filled with the Holy Spirit. 
Maybe Frisbee could have grown up to be a cult leader or a serial killer if Jesus had it knocked on the door of his heart. His marriage had broken down in 1973 and had body count of men. And later on, as you all know, he contracted AIDS in the 90s and died in 1993. My take on this is that your gift, your talent, your calling can still be functioning while you are living outside of the will of God. Life is more measured on what you do in private, when you are alone by yourself, when no one is watching you, when no one is there to admire you, with no mask on, just you and the Father spending time alone with the Holy Spirit. As followers of Christ, this should really cause us to do a soul checkup, reflection, who you are, the person you want to be, and who do you want to do it for? Are you for Christ? Are you for God? Are you after popularity or recognition? As I've been saying, we are in a battlefield and our souls are always in danger whenever we see another day. So let's remember the week. Let's keep on praying for one another and help those who can see the truth on the truth. Thank you for reaching this far. I'll see you in the next one. I want to appreciate these beautiful people. I'm so thankful for every each one of you. God bless you. If you want to support the channel, please leave a comment and your thoughts on this video and on any future topics. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. You can be notified for future videos. If you like the video, leave a like as you help others on these videos. Also, find me on Instagram, TikTok, and follow me there. Thank you all for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.